Raising Hope is about a family's second chance at raising a child. Uh, I play Bert, Bert Chance, and me and my wife, Virginia, played by Martha Plimpton, had a child when we were pretty young, about 15, uh, which is, is not a good idea, but we managed to stay together and stay in love and do the best we could raising this child, who's now in his 20s, and he's had a baby, sort of surprising us all. And none of us are really prepared for that, but uh, this child represents a, a sort of second chance for us to, to do a better job and maybe grow ourselves in the process. I think one of the, the important things that's gonna happen for Bert is he's gonna have to learn the difference between being uh, a, a friend to your kid and being a father to your kid. And I, I think up until now, he's, he's probably been more of trying to be one of the guys and trying to be a best friend because they're so close in age and he didn't really know what he was doing and, and it's worked out okay. But uh, I, I think one of the arcs you're going to see with Bert over the course of the series is going to be his, his better efforts at being a father instead of, you know, a best friend. The old adage is true about working with babies and animals and we work with a lot of babies on this show. Uh, and <laughs> they're really not going to be on any schedule but their own, uh, which is very honest and, and, uh, and wonderful in its way, but we just have to be patient, you know, and uh, they're kind of the best actors on set in a way because they're just so, so honest and so completely themselves. But we, we do spend a lot of time waiting, waiting for them to be in the right mood. fairly early on in the process, but uh, I really like this cast. Uh, Cloris is, is certainly an eccentric personality, but uh, my God, I, I hope I am still working at such a high level when I'm in my mid-80s, you know. I think she has eight or nine Emmys, a BAFTA, an Oscar. She probably has a Grammy, I don't know, but you know, I, I, I will, I will give her a lot of slack. You know, she can do whatever she wants on set as far as I'm concerned. Um, Martha Plimpton and I have kind of been in the same orbit for years. We've worked with a lot of the same theater people. We seem to know all the same people, but we've never worked together. Uh, I think that made it a very comfortable and easy transition. And uh, I, I think she's hilarious. And I think it's a side of, of her that people might be surprised about, that she's, such, that she's so witty. Uh, Lucas is, is, in, is a fresh new face, isn't he? I think this is his first television job. And uh, I think uh, he, he's, a, he's a theater guy out of Chicago. He's real smart, he's perfect for the part. Um, I can't believe I have a son that big, but uh, I do. Uh, and Shannon is, uh, is just lovely. I think she's got a real dry, a real, real dry wit that, that works real well with, with Lucas. I hadn't met Greg before these auditions. I'd been a fan of My Name is Earl. I like the single camera format. It, f uh, it feels like we're making sort of a 22 minute movie every week, which I like. Uh, and Greg is, uh, Greg's like the easiest guy to work for in the world, I think. Um, and the crew loves him. Everyone loves working with Greg, which is uh, so nice to hear. And so, uh, it's so encouraging as we start this thing, that he's just so universally loved. He's very calm on set. He was, he was calm during the pilot. You just, you really feel like you're in good hands.